Today, we delve into a chilling case set in the quiet suburb of Crestwood in mid-February 2022. This story involves a seemingly perfect family, hidden secrets, and a dark plot for murder. In Crestwood, life appeared picture-perfect for the Owens family. Karen Owens, a devoted mother of two, was the quintessential housewife, while her husband, Tom Owens, worked long hours as an accountant. To outsiders, their marriage seemed solid, even enviable. However, beneath the surface, Karen was living a double life. Unbeknownst to Tom, Karen had been engaging in a series of secret affairs, driven by a desire for excitement that her stable, predictable marriage lacked. These encounters became increasingly frequent and risky, taking place in motels, private parties, and even in their own home when Tom was away on business. Karen was always careful to cover her tracks, but the thrill of each new affair became irresistible. On a cold February evening, Tom returned home earlier than expected. Stricken with the flu, he wanted nothing more than to surprise Karen and collapse into bed. Quietly unlocking the front door, he noticed that the house was unusually still. Only a faint rustling from upstairs disturbed the silence. As Tom climbed the stairs, a sense of unease gripped him. He couldn't explain why, but something felt wrong. At the top of the stairs, he saw the bedroom door slightly ajar, a dim light spilling into the hallway. With growing dread, Tom nudged the door open, and the sight before him made his blood run cold. There, tangled in their bed, was Karen with another man. For a moment, Tom couldn't move. It felt as though the ground had been ripped out from beneath him. His mind went blank as he tried to process what he was seeing the woman he loved, the mother of his children, was betraying him in the most personal way imaginable. Karen was the first to notice him. Her face drained of color, and she gasped, pushing the man away in a panic. She tried to speak, but her words didn't register. Tom stood frozen, feeling as though he was watching the scene unfold from outside his body. Without a word, Tom turned and left the room. Karen called after him, but he kept walking. Numb, he descended the stairs and stepped into the cold night air. He didn't know where he was going, but he had to get away. In the days that followed, Tom was consumed by anger and confusion. He couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. All he could think about was Karen's betrayal. Desperate for answers, he began to sift through her phone and emails, uncovering a web of lies that was far worse than he had imagined. Karen hadn't just had one affair, there were several, stretching back for years. Each piece of evidence was another knife to Tom's heart. Every text, hidden email, and secret meeting revealed a side of Karen he had never known. The woman he thought he had built a life with had been living a lie. As the full extent of Karen's infidelity became clear, Tom's heartbreak morphed into something darker. The love he once had for her twisted into an all-consuming obsession for revenge. His every waking thought was filled with one goal, to make her and her lovers pay for what they had done. On March 3, 2022, Tom decided to act. He had discovered the name of one of Karen's lovers, a local instructor named Derek. After days of tracking Derek's routine, Tom knew exactly where to find him. That evening, Tom parked his car near Derek's apartment and waited in the shadows. The street was quiet, the darkness amplifying the storm brewing within him. When Derek finally appeared, Tom's heart raced. Derek, unaware of the danger, walked toward his building. As Derek neared the entrance, Tom stepped out from the shadows. Surprised, Derek looked up, but before he could say a word, Tom confronted him. The anger that had been boiling inside spilled over. He demanded Derek confess everything about his affair with Karen. Caught off guard, Derek was defensive and confused, but Tom wasn't listening. As the confrontation escalated, Derek tried to walk away, but that's when Tom snapped. Without thinking, he grabbed the gym towel slung over Derek's shoulder. In one swift motion, Tom wrapped the towel around Derek's neck and pulled, his rage exploding into violence. Ignoring Derek's desperate attempts to fight back, Tom tightened his grip, consumed by the overwhelming desire for revenge. The consequences of that night would unravel a tragic and twisted story of betrayal, obsession, and murder. Tom's grip tightened, fueled by all the rage and pain he had been holding in for weeks. He could feel Derek struggling beneath his grasp, but he didn't stop, he couldn't. 
It was as if all the emotions that had been festering inside him were being released in this single, violent act. Tom watched as Derek's movements weakened, his body slowly going limp. Finally, it was over. Tom stood there, breathing heavily, staring down at Derek's lifeless body. The rage that had driven him vanished, replaced by a cold, hollow emptiness. Dropping the towel, he stumbled backward, his mind racing with the reality of what he had just done. He had crossed a line, a line that could never be uncrossed. Killing Derek didn't bring Tom the relief he had expected. Instead, it fueled a darker desire within him. For the first time in months, he felt powerful. But one murder wasn't enough. The anger still burned, and he realized he needed to eliminate all of Karen's lovers. Over the next week, Tom methodically hunted down two more men who had been involved with Karen. Each murder became more brutal than the last, as his rage grew and his sanity unraveled. On March 6, 2022, Derek's body was discovered by a concerned neighbor. The neighbor, alarmed by Derek's absence from his usual morning run, went to check on him. When he found the apartment door unlocked, he stepped inside and found Derek's lifeless body. The police arrived quickly but found few clues. Derek's apartment was tidy, with no signs of a struggle. The only piece of evidence was the towel used to strangle him, but it had no fingerprints. The lack of evidence left detectives puzzled. They had no suspects and no clear motive. Two days later, on March 8, 2022, another man was found dead a local businessman, murdered in a motel room. The motel staff discovered the body when the man didn't check out on time. His body lay on the bed, showing clear signs of a violent struggle. Bruises and cuts marred his body, and the murder had been savage. Once again, the police found few leads. There were fibers and hairs at the scene, but not enough to identify a suspect. The lack of witnesses and surveillance footage made the investigation difficult. However, the detectives began to suspect a connection between the two murders. Both victims were men, and both had been killed within days of each other. As they dug deeper into the victims' backgrounds, the detectives found a common link both men had been involved with Karen Owens. Derek had been Karen's lover for a few months, and the businessman had been seeing her for nearly a year. This revelation led the detectives to focus on Karen and her husband, Tom. When interviewed, Karen appeared shocked and distressed over the murders. She claimed to know nothing about why her former lovers had been targeted, insisting that she had ended her affairs and was trying to repair her marriage. Her story seemed believable, and there was no evidence to suggest otherwise. The detectives then turned their attention to Tom. He, too, appeared devastated, distant, and sorrowful over Karen's infidelity. His alibis for the nights of the murders checked out, and there was no direct evidence linking him to the crimes. Without solid proof, the investigation stalled. The detectives kept a close eye on Tom and Karen, hoping for a breakthrough, but none came. By mid-March, Tom's mental state was unraveling. The guilt and rage that had driven him to kill were now consuming him from the inside. He had already taken lives, and the darkness within him only seemed to grow. But there was one more man, a wealthy real estate agent, who had been with Karen for over a year. Tom saw him as the root of all his pain. One night, Tom decided to finish what he'd started. He followed the man through the city, his mind fixated on the violence he was about to commit. The man, unaware of the danger, drove to a secluded spot on the outskirts of town, a place he often went to clear his mind. Tom watched from a distance, his heart pounding and his hands trembling. He was determined. There was no turning back now. As the man got out of his car, Tom approached, his steps heavy with the weight of his decision. The darkness around them seemed to close in as Tom drew near, his breath loud and ragged in the night air. But just as he was about to strike, something inside Tom shattered. All the pain, the anger, the need for revenge, it suddenly dissolved. In its place, an overwhelming sense of guilt and horror washed over him. Instead of attacking, Tom collapsed to his knees, his body shaking uncontrollably. Tears filled his eyes as he began to speak, his words tumbling out in a frantic, desperate confession. He told the man everything about Karen's affairs, about the murders, and about how he had lost all control of his life. At first, the man was confused and then terrified as he listened to Tom's frantic confession. He had no idea who Tom was or why he was telling him all these things, 
but the fear in his eyes was unmistakable. While Tom rambled on, lost in his own thoughts, the man saw his chance to escape. Slowly, he backed away, then turned and bolted toward his car. His heart pounded as he sped away, dialing the police with trembling hands. When the police arrived at the scene, they found Tom still there, sitting in the dirt, his clothes stained with blood, mumbling incoherently to himself. He didn't resist when they handcuffed him. He remained silent as they led him to the patrol car, the fire that had fueled his murderous rampage now extinguished, leaving behind a broken man who could barely comprehend what he had done. As Tom was taken into custody, a shocking twist in the case emerged. During a search of the Owens home, the police uncovered evidence suggesting that Karen had known about Tom's actions all along. Text messages between Karen and one of her lovers revealed a darker, more sinister plot. Karen had been manipulating Tom, feeding his paranoia, and subtly encouraging his violent tendencies. It became clear that Karen had been pulling the strings from the beginning, using Tom's love and jealousy to eliminate her lovers when she grew tired of them. The investigation quickly pieced together Tom's descent into madness, unraveling a timeline that pointed to Karen's role in his unraveling. On March 10, 2022, detectives brought Karen in for questioning. Initially, she played the part of the grieving wife, seemingly horrified by her husband's actions. But as the evidence mounted text messages, phone records, and even a diary she had kept her facade began to crack. Karen had meticulously documented her affairs in the diary, describing how she reveled in the thrill of her double life and how her disdain for Tom had grown over time. The most damning entries revealed how Karen had intentionally manipulated Tom. In her diary, she wrote about how easy it was to push Tom toward violence. If I push him just right, he'll snap. She penned. He'll get rid of my problems for me. The chilling words painted a clear picture of a woman who had carefully orchestrated Tom's descent into murder. The text between Karen and Tom also revealed her manipulation. She would drop subtle hints to fuel his paranoia, saying things like, Tom, do you ever feel like people are laughing at you behind your back? She played on his insecurities and fears, even mentioning how she felt unsafe at home making Tom more anxious and angry. I heard noises last night when you were gone. It scared me so much, she once wrote, further igniting Tom's protective rage. When Tom was arrested, he was in a state of shock. The realization of what he had done, combined with the discovery that Karen had been pulling the strings all along, was unbearable. He had truly loved her, and the fact that she had used that love to turn him into a monster shattered him. In custody, Tom confessed everything to the police, hoping that, somehow, this would give him peace. On March 15, 2022, Tom was charged with three counts of murder. His defense attorney argued that Karen's manipulation had driven him to insanity, portraying Tom as a broken man who had been pushed to the brink. The court reviewed the text messages, the diary, and the phone records. Karen's involvement in Tom's unraveling was undeniable. The prosecution, however, focused on Tom's jealousy and the brutal nature of the killings. They described a man who had allowed his emotions to consume him, leading to a series of horrific crimes. The trial began in early January 2023, drawing a large crowd of spectators and extensive media coverage. People were captivated by the twisted dynamics of the Owens marriage, and the courtroom was packed each day. The prosecution presented Curran's diary as a key piece of evidence. Her entries documented her affairs, her disdain for Tom, and her calculated efforts to push him toward violence. Forensic evidence, including Tom's fingerprints and DNA at each crime scene, also cemented his role in the murders. The prosecution painted Karen as a cold, manipulative woman who had used Tom as a pawn to clean up her messy affairs. Tom's testimony was the emotional high point of the trial. When he took the stand, he recounted his love for Karen and the pain he felt when he discovered her betrayal. He described the madness that overtook him, how the guilt had eaten away at him, and how he could hardly comprehend the horrific acts he had committed. His testimony, full of tears and visible remorse, had a profound impact on the courtroom. Karen's defense team tried to argue that she was a victim as well trapped in a loveless marriage and seeking excitement. But the evidence against her was overwhelming. The text messages and diary entries clearly showed how she had manipulated Tom for her own benefit. When Karen took the stand, 
Her cold, detached demeanor only reinforced the prosecution's portrayal of her as a calculating mastermind. In the end, the jury found Tom guilty on all counts. Though they believed he had been manipulated, they concluded that he had still made the choice to commit the murders. On April 25, 2023, Tom was sentenced to death. As the verdict was read, the courtroom fell silent. Tom's family wept while he stood there, broken and resigned to his fate. Karen, meanwhile, was found guilty of conspiracy to commit murder. She was sentenced to 20 years in prison. The judge remarked that while she hadn't physically killed anyone, her actions had directly led to the deaths of three men. As she was led away, Karen showed little emotion, maintaining her cold and detached demeanor until the very end. Looking back, many wondered if Tom's inner monster had been born from Karen's cruel infidelity and manipulation. Some speculated that Tom's actions were too precise for a novice killer, raising questions about whether this had been his first time. Others pondered if Tom could have taken a different path one that didn't lead to such a tragic end. One detective even remarked, if he had just killed her, maybe things would have turned out differently. Now, Tom has gone sentenced to death because of a woman's cruel manipulation. This is a reminder that obsession can lead to one's undoing. If you want more true crime stories about people whose obsessions led them down dark paths, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have many more stories of love, betrayal, and tragedy. Stay tuned.